In this tutorial, we're going to talk about the two types of text. There's paragraph text, and then there's artistic text, and let's define the two. First, paragraph text is really useful when you're designing brochures or any kind of printed, you know, uh, paper-based product, you know, um, magazine layouts. So here, let's talk about the uh, paragraph text function. So right now, I'm hovering my mouse over the text tool. I can hit F8 on my keyboard, and this will allow me to uh, activate the text tool. Now, to initiate paragraph text, what you'll do is you'll left mouse click and hold down, and then you'll draw a box or a column. Now, whatever shape you draw, that's where your text will be constrained. So if I want to copy a paragraph from Word uh, or type, my text will be constrained within the size of this particular box. So once again, this is more relative for um, you know, designing uh, you know, a printed, um, you know, whether it be pay, uh, excuse me, a magazine or newspaper or a newsletter layout, you know, we can go and create different columns and maybe insert a photo and kind of create, you know, an interesting layout in terms of text. This isn't necessarily practical for a lot of purposes, but it does serve a function. Now, I should point out, once you do create uh, paragraph text, you can convert it to artistic text, which is what we'll talk about next. So if you were to right mouse click on a paragraph text uh, column, you can say convert to artistic text. And uh, you see how it's removed that sort of bounding box, and now it's just in uh, sort of a text island by itself. Um, that's what we can do to uh, further edit the text once we've laid it out in uh, paragraph form. Now, artistic text is what you'll most commonly use. If you just activate the text tool and you begin typing, we'll type out uh, working with text is fun, and I hit enter to get is fun on a new uh, line. The one other thing I want to point out when working with artistic text is, you know, generally you need to be concerned with uh, centering or uh, justifying your design. So what I can do now is under this little icon here where I've just clicked text alignment, um, one of the most common ones I use is center. Now the cool thing is you can hover your mouse over these different options and it will actually display a little preview. It will toggle to a preview uh, when you hover. So you can see force justify, you know, doesn't look appropriate, but center uh, would be appropriate. Of course from the font drop down menu we can go and select um, the particular font that we're going to work with and there we are. Now editing your fonts, font basics. Uh, the first thing you need to be concerned with is changing the distance between two characters. So look between the, uh, the W, the O, and the R and then look between the R and the K in the following text. Notice the space between the characters is, is radically different. So what if I wanted to change that? Well, There's a few ways you can do that. You can change it globally meaning I can select my text, but you want to select it with the shape tool where my mouse is now hovering. And that's going to let you change the distance between characters of text. So, this is called kerning. So I can kern my file. Notice I'm left mouse clicking on this little icon here where my mouse is circling. That lets me change the distance between uh, characters and it does it, and it does it um, globally. So it's going to change all of the text characters. Well, I can also change the distance between returns. So we have working with text, return is fun. Maybe I want to change the spacing uh, between those characters. So I can radically change that. You see I can almost overlap, uh, you know, make those touch. You have full control. Now the other thing that you might want to do is just select several characters. So this is called marquee selecting. What I'm going to do is take my shape tool and I'm going to drag a box. I'm basically going to lasso the bottom uh, you know, characters is fun. I'm going to take all of their individual control points and I'm just going to control and constrain those individual points. So I might want to change, say, the, uh, the, uh, the angle of rotation, maybe give that a 30 degree rotation. Do you see how those are selected? That would mean I can control just those individual characters. Um, I can select one particular character, so I might want to move the W over. Do you see how I have full control to move the W independently? if I click on one of its little control points. Now the cool thing is, it will, uh, Corel will automatically tell you if you're on your baseline, so you know if your file is aligned appropriately. So I can select that control point, see that blue line that indicates? That means that your, um, your W is going to align uh, with, with all of the font characters below. So that is just some basics in terms of uh, working with text in Corel Draw. In some of the other tutorials we'll talk about working with outlines in conjunction with text, working with contours, and of course, uh, assigning text effects.